good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Toidul Islam. Uh, I'm a PhD student at University at Buffalo. I worked with Professor Scott Broderick, and I would like to share my research on informatics-based design of multi-component material chemistries. Our objective is we are crafting complex systems uh, tailored to make precise property goals. We also mindful of the uncertainty in our data and the decisions we are making. Our strategy is we are building a robust data center uh, framework that can guide us our system design. And in the next step, we are scaling up. We expect to see our framework uh, grow and include the rare earth oxides and even uh, more data types coming upcoming years. While we are improve our tools to handle the new challenges. So far, we have done two case studies. Uh, one is we are designing high entropy alloys where we target the ultimate balance of strength, ductility, and toughness. Secondly, we are enhancing the processing and the chemistry of niobium nitride to push its critical temperature further. Uh, in this slide, I'm showing the I'm showing our first case study, which was the design of high entropy alloys. These are uh, not like the ordinary alloys. They are designed by combining uh, multiple elements from the periodic table to perform uh, exceptionally oil under extreme conditions. The graph on the right side, we see it compares the comprehensive strength of high entropy alloy to, to the traditional alloy. alloy. For example, we are comparing with a uh, nickel based alloy. What we are seeing here uh, is that high entropy alloy holds their ground better in the extreme uh, extreme conditions. But we got a challenge here uh, that is uh, the usual trade off between strength and ductility. Making the materials that are both incredibly strong and not too brittle. We're planning to tackle this by tweaking the uh, elemental mixture, aiming to strike the perfect balance. Now the question is, uh, can we connect composition and processing to the high entropy alloy and the property at the same time? Also quantify their impact. Uh, for example, we are doing here for uh, ill strength. The shape plot and, and the feature importance plot that shows uh, not only the nature of the impact uh, on the property, but also quantify them. And as you can see here, um, higher the annealing temperature um, that reduces the yield strength due to the grain growth and lower dislocation density. We can also see the impact of the cold rolling that is um, uh, the most important feature for uh, defining the yield strength. This is our approach to design the materials with uh, multiple properties. Um, we have mapped out the data uh, in the graph format, as you can see in the uh, bottom left corner, capturing the trend and seeing uh, where our trend uh, digit properties intersect. And we can see that they, they don't, which means we need to be uh, clever and design in the space in between. So we have introduced a process flow, starting with the known system. We are using UMAP, which is a sophisticated data analysis tool uh, to get to get new perspective. Finally, we generate synthetic data. Uh, imagine we have 100,000 different uh, possible materials. We fit them back into our model. This update our uh, Pareto front that highlights the best candidates. We 
we use uh, predictive models for different properties, for example, yield and, and ductility, and created a massive virtual data set. And the U map here we can see is like a treasure map uh, with 100,000 points. Um, each, each of them is a unique material chemistry. The red dots, uh, those are the um, optimized uh, compositions that shows us the uh, best trade off between the properties. And out of 10,000, we have uh, pinpoint the 67 points for uh, further investigations. Now let's look at the correlation between the features of our materials and their properties. Um, the heat map here we can see two heat maps. Uh, they compare uh, the known alloys to the ones we have optimized. And the contrast we can see uh, that tell us how our optimized alloys behave differently uh, from the known alloys. And that hints that we have tapped into a new aspect of materials physics. And here's the cool part. This method helps us to spot the elements and processes that really matter. Our focus on processing factor like uh, the annealing time, temperature, and, 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 and the cooling rate. So the deal is get this right and we get the alloy with uh, finer grains and better phase distribution, which means better mechanical performance. Um, now let's talk about the chemistry, uh, the bar chart we, are, we can see here on the right side. Um, those are the results of a new model uh, that looks at elemental pair from our um, high entropy alloy compositions and which combines, uh, and that can tell us which element can uh, promote the formation of single phase or uh, formation of the, uh, multiple phases. You see the positive bars, um, those elements are uh, that are supposed to promote the formations of a single phase. So each part here uh, tells us a story about elements like aluminum, titanium, or their and their influence on our uh, alloy structure. This is our second case study where we uh, optimize the processing and chemistry for niobium nitride. Our goal was to enhance the superconducting transition temperature. And by, by tweaking everything like uh, during the deposition process uh, from the substrate temperature to the pressure we applied in the chamber, even the thickness uh, of the deposited film. And the cool part about this uh, methodology is what we learn here that can go beyond nitride system. We can apply the same approach to other ceramic materials, fine tune the process to get properties we are looking for. Here we applied a new design framework to identify the target candidates for uh, better uh, critical temperature. This method is called uh, self-supervised learning, which is a approach to deal with uh, lack of level data. Let's say when we have a small data set. Uh, the figure on the left side, uh, it shows the predicted TC or the critical temperature for different substrate and, and the processing variables. It shows that the it shows the correlation between the critical temperature and the film thickness uh, also substrate temperature um, and, and the pressure. And it can guide us to select the optimal values for these uh, parameters. So this unique data-driven optimization approach that resulted in a noticeable 16.4% increase in the uh, superconducting transition temperature of niobium nitride. Now we are taking niobium nitride uh, to the next level by experimenting with ternary um, and quaternary nitride. That means we are adding more elements into the mixture 
to see uh, how it impacts uh, the critical temperature. And we found that swapping out 43% of niobium with uh, titanium, uh, that has already shown to increase the critical temperature. And when we move to the quaternary nitrate, uh, as you can see on the right side diagram, we see even further improvement. So in summary, we developed and tested uh, different methodologies for range of different material classes, properties, and length scales. We identified target high entropy LA compositions, even their trade-offs, while also incorporating the role of phase formation. We did the process and doping for niobium nitrate films with uh, enhancement in superconducting temperature. And these all, all these methodologies are we are trying to extend them to other oxide systems. <laughs>